How's it going everybody and welcome back to a brand new run of Dark Souls, brand new series. This is going to be my um, Honor Among Thieves series. So you can guess which class I'm going to take. Um, interestingly enough, I don't think I read through these uh, very closely the first time I played. It's always amazing how you find... Um, little bits and pieces, more lore, more knowledge each time you play. Um, some of these names now actually mean something to us, and there's a, there's a little bit of, like our thief classes says, guilt-ridden thief. Um, yeah, interesting. I'll be taking the old witch's ring, you guys will know why. I won't need to go into that, um, but that'll help us out later on. Um, now that my first blind play is through, I've just been inundating myself with as much Dark Souls lore as possible. Um, this page too has uh, has some interesting uh, stuff for each of the uh, uh, set pieces for the faces. Uh, as a thief, you know, obviously we're going to be playing as uh, uh, a person's from Kareem. Come on, I mean, who's more dastardly than uh, Law Trek in uh, Dark Souls, so we gotta go Kareem, but uh, yeah, so this is gonna be a completely different type of play style, um, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. Let's make our guy old. Yeah, receding airline. Um, completely, <laughs> completely different play style. Um, I think it'll be a lot of fun and. Now that, uh, you know, there's really no spoiler alerts, um, you guys can feel free to um, comment much, much more um, and get involved uh, a lot more than uh, as much as you want, to be honest with you. Um, we're going to go with dark blue because it's common with cream. And our guy is way, way too nice looking. Um, way too nice. Look at him. I don't, I don't like it. Um, I'm not going to make you watch me go through it, but I'm going to cut away here and we'll cut back with my, uh, with my changes. Oh, much better. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that scowl. He looks hollow already. Sunken cheeks. He looks angry. He looks like, uh, he looks like an asshole. I love it. So he should do well for our, our thief, uh, uh our thief character. Desmond. Yeah, very fitting. For the type of character we're going to be playing. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the 
Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. The flames will always fade, man. Central theme. Age of fire, yes, age of dark. Indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. Over and over. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Oscar. We owe a lot to that man. Boo. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, let's get that mask back on. <laughs> So, yes, this uh, this first part here, the uh, Undead Asylum, this is uh, post-commentary. Uh, however, I assure you, I'll be coming back for you, bitch. I assure you that uh, all the parts after this will be live commentary. That's going to be part of the new uh, the new way. It's going to make this, this series different from the other one. Um, and... Yeah, I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be a much faster paced. Um... We're still gonna, you know, we're still gonna do lore, uh, I still want it to be about a lot of lore, um, but a lot of the items, you know, I'll, I'll I already, since I just got done playing, I'll have, uh, which kind of why I wanted to do this right now, here you get a nice shot of the, uh, Asylum de Demon on the roof waiting for us, um, which is kind of why I wanted to do it now, so everything was fresh in my memory, um, key items I'll read off, but, um, I still do want to keep, uh, um, this, you know, pretty, I want to keep the discussion about the, the lore going, because it's my favorite part of Dark Souls, um, it's close, the combat's pretty awesome, too, 
But, um, I think that this class and this play style that I'm gonna attempt to do, um, you know, I wanna do a dex based character, should be, um, should be fun. It's gonna be a lot more. Um, I, and I actually think it'll make me a better player. Um, it'll be a lot more of evasion, a lot less relying on um, tanking. Uh, our last character could tank okay, um, as it was a it was a very rounded build. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what my, my secondary stat or my secondary stat is gonna be. You know how I love me? Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. Poor Oscar. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Of course. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. And thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. And there's the the hole that uh, is assumed that the asylum demon uh, smashed him through. According to the community, anyways. Just showing off my uh, HD uh, target shield here. So yeah, we're gonna be a high dex character. Um, and I don't, I still haven't decided, man, on what uh what I want to do if I want to go faith based or intelligent based. If I would do if I want to be uh, uh heavy with the weapon buffs. Or go faith and go with some miracles. Maybe go dark moon this time, um, because uh, I guess you can get some. You know, the dark moon, uh, dark moon blade, um, miracle, and the dark moon talisman are some of the best ones in the game. I guess. I don't know though. I haven't decided. We don't need to even need to decide that yet. We got plenty of other stuff to do before that. Um, Simon, Asylum Demon. Real susceptible to bleed, man. I don't even know if I get it to activate on him here, but uh, you can really fuck him up with just this bandit's knife. Assuming you get the bleed to come off. No, I don't think I quite get it. Oh, it's not a good spot. That's not a good spot. Come on, take a swipe at me, big boy. Nope. Oh, shit. <laughs> Got me a little bit there. So yeah, um, let's talk about the lore, let's do all that. I won't be stopping to read every single item though. Um, there is one thing though, dialogues, I, I probably won't be skipping dialogues because uh, there's, there's, uh, shit, there's lots of dialogues that I missed in my first playthrough that I want to see. Um, so we'll be going for, for all that. Um, 
But yeah, it should be fun. We're... I'm doing post-commentary here, like I said, but... In the ancient legends, it is stated... When we hit Lord Ron, I'll switch over. Pro Velka, man. That's what they say. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage. All about that to Velka the land lore. Of the ancient lords. Woman pulls a lot of strings. so excited to start playing this again from the beginning. It's great. So awesome. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit this bonfire here and then I'm going to cut away and we'll be, we'll go to live commentary guys. I just wanted to get that tutorial error area over with and uh, yeah, uh, give me a couple seconds and I'll switch around over. There we go. Welcome back. We are now on Livecom, guys, and let's get started. There's a lot to do here at Firelink Shrine. Let's go ahead and yeah, let's grab all of our grab all of our uh, all the items around the shrine. Pick up some fire bombs, some soul items, some humanity. Yes. Get our dialogues out of the way as well. Petrus. I should fucking backstab you right now, you bolt cutted son of a bitch. We'll deal with him later. And we got one up here. Let's go raid his stash real quick. Um, the only thing I'm really interested in there is the talismans and the. Uh, Homeward Bones. Well, who knows? Maybe we'll do invasions. I don't know. I don't know where it's going to lead us. This is sort of a free-for-all. Non-linear, man. Um... I do think it's pretty amazing, um, oh shit, come on, get up there, um, how every time I watch that opening, uh, introduction sequence, I always see something new, like, something I didn't notice before, and now that I've completed the game, you know, at least once, um, it can just be, it's just little shit, like, like right before the the war with the dragons, I'm like, oh, that's a silver knight shield. That's a that's a silver knight uh, armor set there, where they they show the the arm holding the sword and and uh, kind of odd. Like when they do the introduction for Lord Gwyn of Lord of Sunlight, it looks like he's surrounded by his black knight. So I'm not sure that that montage is supposed to be necessarily in a, any sort of chronological order. I mean, some of it is, but um, they could just be, I guess, shaded. Um, it could just be shadow. But I don't know. If those are Black Knights, then that's probably uh, more... That scene there is more akin to when Glenn... Glenn... <laughs> Gwyn is uh, going to link the first flame because it would make sense for him to have his black knights at that point because they would already been burned black by the chaos demons. The war with the chaos demons. Uh, I'm going to be doing some, a couple of little suicide runs here, so let's dump these initial souls. Um, and let's talk about leveling up. We're obviously going to be doing a... Uh, do? do I get three here? 
Yeah. Yeah, that'll leave us with 30 souls. Good. Um. I'll probably be sticking to, um. Just based on the wiki for. And what I can see from my. Um. Connectivity mod. As far as where I want to be soul level wise because I do want to do some co-op man I want to help people with bosses I want to get help with bosses not that you know most of me don't need help but um I just want to for the experience you know for the community experience it's kind of cool to help each other out so I will definitely be uh minding my soul levels this time and not just Dumping. Shit. Oh, fuck. Come on now. I want the binoculars before I die. Why did I not mute my phone? I might grab this white. I don't really need it because uh, I'm not really doing a strength build. So. But I think I grabbed everything I want there. Trying to think, did I miss anything else up here? No, not really. Worry about the the uh, key later. Let's let's go run down here. Yeah, let's go do this. Definitely gonna be farming up for that baller sword in the parish, but. We'll grab our back up here just in case. You guys know what I'm going for, don't you? Oh, there's a soul item over here. Yeah, it's probably best that I'm doing this playthrough right after. Um, otherwise, after a while, I'm just going to forget where everything's at. <laughs> but I have a pretty good idea. I have a pretty good memory. Um, grab that e stock. Good weapon. Good starting dex weapon. Get our transients. Get our freebies. Alright, you guys probably know what I'm going for over here. I figure we just get these suicide runs out of the way only a few. Nice, nice way to get a quick early game Estus, um, Estus upgrade. So that's pretty sweet. Um, let's go ahead and get our dialogues over with, because I'll take a little bit. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead. <laughs> oh, crestfallen. God, you're such a beacon of positivity. Ah, your face. You're practically hollow. But who knows? Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what? I, love, I love this guy. Restoring your humanity? He's great. Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collect it bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric and get yourself summoned. 
And the quickest way, although I'd never do it, is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity. Coveting thy neighbor is only human, after all. <laughs> Yeah, you'd never do that, would you, Crestfallen? What are you looking at? Don't try anything clever. You might regret it. Hmm? What? You want to hear more? Oh, that's all we need. Another inquisitive soul. <laughs> well, listen carefully, then. One of the bells is up above in the undead church, but... The lift is broken. You'll have to climb the stairs up the ruins and access the undead burrow through the waterway. The other bell is back down below the undead burrow, within the plague-infested blight town. But I die again before I step foot in that cesspool. <laughs> Bloody hell, what is it now? You ask too many questions. Hmm? What now? I'm not up for chatting. Leave me alone. We will indeed. You take all your levels, and then you grab the items just around Fire Lake Shrine. It just so happens that you have exactly enough to pay off shithead up here. I want his gesture. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go with miracles or not, but... Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Oh, you want to keep a distance, huh? How about I stand right here? Does that sound good? Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Oh my, you again. Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Oh, I would love it. Very well. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Perhaps our thief will find salvation in the, uh, in the sweet embrace of faith. I, I, I doubt it, but hey, I don't know. I don't know yet. Now let me share my miracles. Only their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts and your faith. Oh, the shrug. My companions are my lady and her young knights. She is young, but burdened by an undead mission. We are her defenses to keep her from harm. An undead mission? Regrettably, I cannot share that with you. But you are my pupil. Perhaps if you show your faith... If you initiate this dialogue and you don't have the 800 to pay, you won't get it again, I've noticed, uh, in my playtesting. Very well. I can surely tell you, of all people, undead clerics are given a mission to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires with humanity. Through kindling, we shall one day be granted magnificent powers. And the only reason I really want it is to, uh... Yeah, I don't want any of your shit. Come again. The effectiveness of the teachings depend upon your faith. 
with some dialogue uh, having to do with him and Lawtrick later on that I did not get last time that I definitely want to get this time. So, um, what are we going to do? Where are we at on time? Oh, yeah. Let's turn in our uh, Barkeeper Soul. You see that? That should get us new dialogue with Crestfallen. Mm hmm? What now? I'm not up. Are you sure? Come on, man. Mm hmm? I'm. Really? <clears throat> do I actually need to do the, uh, she cannot speak dialogue? Oh, have you seen that terribly morose lass? The Firekeeper. She's stuck keeping that bonfire lit. Sad, really. She's mute and bound to this forsaken place. They probably cut her tongue out back in her village, so that she'd never say any god's name in vain. How do these martyrs keep chugging along? I'd peter out in an instant. <laughs> yeah. All right. We got some stuff we want to pick up here. Fuck the undead bird. Now we are a thief, so we do have the master key, which is gonna let us do some uh, some shit I didn't really take advantage of before, but. Now, now that I know where a bunch of the items are, it should be uh, should be interesting playing this in a completely different a completely different direction. How oh, this poor guy. Valley of the Drakes, major hub. Back way into Blight Town. Blight Town will be using that at some point. Not, not totally interested in that right now. What I really want is uh, this back way into the parish. Shield, Dragon Crush Shield, and a store straight sword, which we will not be picking up just quite yet. Don't want to wake him up. At least not till I get some sort of ranged attack. Okay. Now well, this is a 50-50. Let's see how we do. Nice little shortcut here up to uh, Dark Root Basin. So. Let's light this sucker up. See if we can't uh, first try this Black Knight. God, I hate the Halberd ones too. They're just the worst. Ah, 
Oh, shit. This isn't good. Not good. Get up here. Come get me. Seriously? Alright, if you're just gonna give me your back, bro, that's fine. How are you not dead? Ow. No! Stupid! Some bitch. Get fucking wrecked. Blue Titanite Chunk. And more importantly, Grass Crush Shield. Yeah, it's gonna come in pretty handy. Um. I think we need. 10 strength? We'll go ahead and take that now. Just cause. We're gonna have to anyway. And we're gonna be using that shield. Not right away, but definitely gonna be using it. Um, oh yeah, okay. Everything that I need. I'm gonna head up this way. I'm not gonna fuck with Havel yet. Yeah, 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 here we go. Get our free, uh, get our free Dex bow. I give a shit about the set, but. That longbow is pretty good dex weapon. Pretty good starting dex weapon. It's got an A scaling, so... It's not bad. Good range, too. And this fuck. Give me a good drop. Nice. Two chunks, two tight night. Very cool. Uh, everybody's favorite, the old grass crush shield. We're just gonna bypass all this shit and get to the parish. Pretty sweet shortcut, man. I gotta say. Oh shit, fuck. I want to get close to him right now. Let's go run up here and save. I think maybe we'll go ahead and get Andre's dialogue out of the way, and then uh, we'll probably call it a part. Maybe. I don't know. Well, you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of Astora. If they require something, then speak to me. Andre of Astora. Most weapons and armor are mighty to 
tragedy indeed. But every hunk of metal has its breaking point. If you notice durability running low, it's time to repair. You can ask a blacksmith like myself, or do it on your own with a grindstone. The nice thing about weapons, they never betray you. So pay them a little respect, eh? Andre is very unique and for a couple of reasons. Um, he's the only NPC I think that has mouth animations, and I, from what I've read, that's because he was supposed to be uh, a more integral part of the uh, Dark Souls story. Um, he had a bigger part to play, um, which is why he he looks a lot cooler. Um, there's a lot of work that's gone into him. There are two types of weapon forging. There's reinforcement and there's ascension. Reinforcement is simple. It strengthens the weapon and nothing more. A simple task for any blacksmith. Hell, you could even do it yourself with a smith box. But ascension's a finer art. It alters the weapon's properties. Ascension is the territory of we blacksmiths. A smith box just won't do the trick. Start out with reinforcement. When that loses its charm, you can consider a censure. As you've noticed, this land is flush with the mad and wicked. You won't make it through the night without employing my services. <laughs> Forging armor is even easier than forging weapons. Whether you forge weapons or armor first, well, that's up to you. But nobody wants to see you go hollow. So whatever you do, you'd better do it well. <laughs> I think that's all of this dialogue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For what but no so <laughs> He of course sells shards and a variety of weapons, none of which are very appealing to us. Um These are both decent shields, but we'll get We'll get some. Oh shit, you know what? Fuck, I totally forgot to go do something. Oh well, I'll do it in the next part. Um. Say, we could already have 100% black shield. I forgot to pick it up. <laughs> anyway. Um. I'll be seeing you there. Thanks, Andre. I think we're getting close enough to call this one a part, uh, a first part, guys. We'll uh, we'll pick back up here in the parish, um, and uh, run in there and uh, check some of that area out. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you're enjoying the new series, um, new style, new play style. Going to be a lot, a lot more pairing, a lot more uh, evasion. I'm hoping that that it gets me good and prepped for uh, the future uh, Dark Souls 2 and uh, then Dark Souls 3. Of course, they're probably all different mechanically, different timings, but whatever. Love this game. Um, we, got, we got a wave here. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the next part. Thanks for watching.